Hey guys, this is Jamie with Greater Than Gatsby and today I'm here to kind of introduce you to the new Friends collection and show you how we utilize it very quickly to achieve similar results to its sister set, the Cult Classics collection. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step that we would want to do is look at the overall exposure of the image. This image is very well equally exposed. You can look at the histogram and see that those curves are beautiful, but if not, you can adjust the exposure just by hovering over darker as shot or brighter in different variations to achieve the exposure of the image that you would like. Now this is under the ugly naked guy exposure and just wait until you see the theme of this set. So then we'll move on to the Anagi white balance. Now here we have many options. You can use auto white balance or you could use different variations. You can boost the warmth, you can boost the magentas, you can boost the greens, or you can cool it off. So if you are shooting a little bit too warm and there's a lot of oranges, you can add in that cooler boost. Or if they are very ruddy in the skin tones, you can add some green. Now this image, I do like the way it is in regards to the white balance. So I would not make any adjustments, but those options are there when you need it. Let's go ahead and move down to the tones. So we have two sections here. We have Monica's Clean Freak Tones and we have Gladys's Artistic Tones. You can select one preset from each and they are stackable, but it has to be one from Monica's Clean Freak Tones and one from Gladys's Artistic Tones. Now, if you want to get an idea about how each kind of looks, you can hover over each one just like in normal Lightroom fashion to kind of determine what look or style you want to achieve before you select. On these ones, I actually think I am going to utilize Central Perk. And I love what that does to the boy's skin and I like that the tone of the leaves is just making it a little bit more fallish without getting too, too dramatic yet. So moving on, we would go ahead and go down to Gladys's artistic tones. Now here you can stack or you can choose not to stack. So let me just kind of hover and roll down over each of these so you can see what it does and see if this image in particular will need that second layer of tonal adjustments. And I think for this image, I am going to leave it as is and go ahead and move on down to main character energy. Now main character energy utilizes AI to select your subjects and add a little bit more pop, whether it be just a clean pop, a little bit of that glowy look, warmth, if you can add in some magenta to your characters. This is great when you're backlit and your subjects are a little bit dark and you need to add that extra glow. Here they are very well lit. I would not add it on this particular image, but I do think that it is very helpful in a lot of the images that we shoot in some of those harsher environments. So I think here, this is perfect. I would not add them, but let's go ahead and move down to the backgrounds. This background adjustment is under Ross's main character annulment. We have two areas in this one in particular. You have the BG, which stands for background. So each of these adjusts the background only. And then you have sky, which adjusts the sky only. So for this one, I will kind of scroll down through the backgrounds to see the changes that I'm kind of looking for. I know I want to make an adjustment to the background because I want a little bit more of that subject separation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and utilize, so you're going to Minsk. And for this one, I wanted a little bit more or less of an adjustment. So I will bring that down until hmm, about there, 60%. And I like what that does. We are making some good progress already. I definitely know that I need to add some more light to the photo. So I am gonna scroll down to la 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 light. And here this will create gradients in the left, center or to the right in different variations. So let me go ahead and move down the list from Smelly Cat, Smelly Cat, what are they feeding you? Smelly Cat, Smelly Cat, it's not your fault. So for this particular image, I want more light in the center, which is already naturally there, but I want to amp it up. So I am going to go ahead and choose Smelly Cat in the center, and I want it a little bit, a little bit more so I'm gonna bring that up to about 125. 
Now, I understand that my highlights are getting blown out here, and I will fix that in the end with the use of the brushes. So let's go ahead and move down to something that we know you will love for fall. This is called the one with the leaves. Now, the one with the leaves adds a fall-like tone to the background to kind of really make those fall tones pop. You can use this in the fall, you can leave it off in the spring, whatever you choose. We can start with the yellow tones and move all the way down to missing red sweater, which adds those cranberry tones. Now for today, I really kind of want to bring out those oranges and fall tones. So I'm going to go ahead and use yellow people frame and I am going to stick with just the first one, yellow people frame plus. Now that is a little bit stronger than I would like, so I am going to reduce that opacity down to about 40%. The next and last section in this is the entertainment unit. Now, this is those finishing touches that you love on all of your images to really make your subjects pop, make their skin look the best, make that subject separation occur a little bit more, add some depth. So we have Phoebe's Skin Cure, which will kind of smooth that skin. We can whiten their teeth. You can whiten the eye whites. You can make the iris pop. You can come down to popping the shadows a little bit more just to kind of add that depth. You can pop the highlights a little bit more just to add a boost in the highlights. Mishmash Pop or Meat Good is one of my favorites. That is that combo pop that we low and love that basically creates that more dynamic range in that image. You can recover the highlights. Now, I know I mentioned I want to do that soon, but I'm going to use that in a brush only. And then you can recover your shadows. You can add some color or reduce the color. You can add clarity and dehaze. So let's go ahead and add a few of these that I know that will make this image stand out a little bit more. The first thing I want to do is add a mood point sharpener just to sharpen my subjects just a bit. And then I want to come back to that mishmash pop or meet good and add that combo look in there that I know will really make the boys stand out just a bit more. And I do want to up that color just a little bit because the fall is the main character here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose hold me closer. And that is a little bit too much of a boost. So I am going to bring that down to about 35%. And I want to add a little bit more clarity in there. And that about does the trick in regards to utilizing those presets. Then I would move on to the brush presets. And to do that, you can go ahead and come over here and select a brush that you choose or a radiant or the landscape. Or you can just hit K on your keyboard for the brush only. You would move down to the presets section and you can come down to the brushes that are included in the set. I want to reduce or rescue those highlights, but there's a couple different other options here for you. We have paint on highlights, paint on shadows, rescue highlights, rescue shadows. You can add a little glow, a foreground blur, some glowy light. You can add a little specific dehaze. You can amplify that background a little bit or you can enhance the details. But for me, I need to rescue those highlights like we said. When we're using the brush, you need to use the bracket key up and down to kind of get that exact size that you're looking for. I do have this feather quite a bit and I will paint on those areas that are a little bit too bright. Let me go ahead and bracket that down just to kind of make it smaller. I don't want it quite so bright right here. I want to bring some of those details back. just to kind of help. Okay, so, and I also think my foreground is a bit too bright. I kind of have my eyes wander through that section, so I will do one swipe. And I think overall, that is the whole edit in just a few minutes that you can now apply to your other images. So let's go ahead and show you the before and after. This is before, this is after, this is before, this is After, and yes, this is Lightroom Only. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and take a look at our website at www.greaterthangatsby.com. Thank you so much.